The code challenge today is called the Pharaoh Shuffle. And the idea is that we have a deck of cards and we have to split the deck exactly in half. And then we shuffle the cards exactly interlaced. So ace, two, three, four, five, six becomes ace, four, two, five, three, six. Okay, we're told it's even numbered, so that helps. We don't have to deal with odd numbered decks here. And uh, so let's get started. I have Visual Studio Code here, and the first thing we'll do is define the array. And we'll just copy their array exactly. And then let's do a test case. So let's log the result of calling Pharaoh on the array. And so we have to define Pharaoh here. And that will take the deck. And for now, let's just return the deck. Okay, let's run that. And here we have ace, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we know that that should be this array here. So let's copy that. And so now we have our test case. So we know that it shouldn't go ace two, but it needs to go ace four, two, five, three, six. Okay, so the first thing we should think about doing is splitting the deck in half. And I'm going to do this with slice. So deck.slice will return a new array. And I just want to get the first part of this array. So I'm going to start at zero and go to the deck.length divided by two. And this is where it's nice that we have even length arrays because if we had odd length arrays, we'd have to think about dealing with that. Um, let's just return this right now to see what we get. Okay, so we have ace two three, and we now need to take the four, five, and six and interleave them into here. So we could do dot map here, but then we'd have to flatten it later. So instead I'm gonna use flat map, which I don't have much experience with, but it should work really well for this use case. Okay, so that will take every card, that'll loop through this deck and take every card. And for now, let's just return the card. And we can see that returns exactly the same thing. So we're getting the correct card here. Okay, now what we really want is we want to put the card and the card that's halfway up the array. So we're gonna start with the card and we also want to return the card halfway up the deck. So it's gonna be the deck and then we want the current index plus this half length again. So flat map returns both the element and the index if we want it. So we can take whatever we, our current index is, and then add deck.length divided by two again. And now if we return that, there we go. Now we have ace and then four, two, five, three, six. And that matches the test case exactly. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.